Good evening and uh, welcome to the Boater and Persigo show. <laughs> now, uh, good evening to Arrow FM listeners and also for those watching on Freeview 41. My name's Anton Persigo and I'm joined with Boater, um, Tony Lyford. Uh, how are you, Tony? Yeah, real good, mate. Real good. It's an interesting show without uh, Childsy well, here, mate. Well, so Childsy's called in, sh in sick, Boda. And, oh, um, he's called in sick. Yep, and so we've obviously, that part of the policy of the show is we need a medical certificate. So I've got the medical <laughs> certificate here, which will um, obviously got to keep confidential, but um, it's, a, it's a serious bout of double pink eye. Double pink eye. What Nothing has that worse. guy been What's up to? What's he been up to? Hey? Um, he's been in a few too many scrums. <laughs> um, so, yes, yeah, so unfortunately, we I did offer to for a health and well-being um, call, but um, he, he kindly said um, he needs some rest. Absolutely. So hopefully um, we wish Charles a, a speedy recovery. Hey, now, the show's available at 7 o'clock on a Friday night now. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Cool, yeah, so you can get a night before. Yep. You can watch it the night before, yeah. That's right, yeah. Absolutely, that's, uh, I like that. It's good. Yeah. So, um, so good evening, um, and it's Friday night. So anything else before we start this show? Boda? No, no, not tonight, mate. It's um, it's just going to be different having it running on the Friday night. How about Andy Holmes? Andy Holmes. And he's 61 years old. 61 or 62, Andy. He comes on, plays 20 Unbelievable. minutes. Unbelievable. 20 minutes. Is that what he played? 20 minutes. Like, that's, out, that's out of control. He's like, he's like, have you ever seen, is it the $6 million like, man, the bionic man? Like two or three years off retirement. It's if I'm crazy. Like, proper retirement. <laughs> like, work retirement. It's the crazy. guy's out there playing rugby. So, um, obviously, so those that are watching on Channel 41 now, this is replayed at 7 o'clock on Friday night, and you'll see a lot more visuals. So, I've uh, got a tribute here to all the old timers. Oh, nice. Play. So, let me try and find it. We, um, where are we? Those, 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 old, those, a lot of those old timers, they're the guys that make those clubs run, right? Yep. You know, they just they turn up week on, week out. Um, There's over 500 years here, Boda, of prim, premier players. Jared Hawkins. <laughs> Gets a little push in the bed. <laughs> Uh, oh, Reese, Reese Severn. That's a red card. Uh, this is Stan Wright. Have a look at Stan here. <laughs> Penalty. <laughs> Ford. <laughs> oh. Cleaned out. Reese again. There he is, the legend himself, Andy Holmes. Oh, wait, look at this dude. <laughs> yeah, Corey. Corey, Corey Reed. Corey, what are you up to? Corey. in from the wing. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of cramp. Yeah, he got cramped two or three times before they took him off. I was at that game. <laughs> oh. And again, Corey Reed, watch this. This is just gold. That's his big angle. Yeah. He's offside by about a metre and a half. Just on uh, just on those old old uh, old players there, we um, we lost one uh, on Sunday. Persico, a uh, grey down stalwart, Joe Adams passed away. Um, oh, sorry, we'll start there. Go again, Boda. On Sunday, we lost, and speaking of the old players, we lost a stalwart of the Grey Down Rugby Club on Sunday, Joe Adams. Yep, I um, saw that there was a moment of silence before the Pioneer game. Absolutely. You know, he was. I played a bit with Joe when I went back um, and started, got the thirds back going at Grey Down a few years ago, and uh, he was one of the mainstays there. It didn't matter. He would always turn up. He was just a great guy. Um, so yeah, it's quite a big loss, actually. I really like Joe, so I just wanted to shout out to the Grant family and, yep. uh, yeah, and yep. Joe. I mean, he's a, rest in peace. He's had a he's had a battle, battle with the uh, the nasty cancer and yep. yeah. No, oh, yeah, to the Grant family, our condolences. Mm. Okay, we'll uh, get this started, Boda. Um, good morning and welcome. Oh, <laughs> good evening. Good evening. Good evening and now. Good evening now and welcome to the Childsy. Uh, sorry, welcome to the Boda and Persico show brought to you by White Upper Bush. It's live on Facebook and also YTV. I'm Anton Persico and joined with Tony Lyford, uh, aka Boda, and we have no Mark Childs today. He is off with a serious, serious bout of double pink eye. Double pink double eye. Double pink eye. 
So, um, Boda, what's been going on? Where, where, where did you go on the weekend? Yeah, so I went uh, and watched the Greydown Pioneer game. Yep. Um, yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a good battle. Yep. Both teams both teams went hard. Pioneer got the win in the last second. Yep. It was about 10 minutes into overtime, which always adds to a bit of spice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that, was, that, was really, that was really good. Um, Lewis Bush was back for Greydown. I saw that. I was watching the video. He looked, he's looking pretty fit. Yeah, no, he's pretty dominant. Yep. Tavita, um, Tavita had a run too. Yeah, Tavita was good. Yep. Um, Reese Kelkin was very good for Pioneer. Yep. Um, I thought in the court, in the court of Iwi was brilliant. Yeah, so he played on the wing. Did he? Is he, played, he played left wing and Shane Harmon uh, played centre. Yeah, okay, well, we'll talk about, we'll talk about the games um, a, a little more um, later on. Um, what else did you get up to? Um, so I went in to watch the first 15 game, actually. It was actually the, oh, hi- fire. It was the highlight of my weekend. Yep. So Waikol uh, beat Wellington College 29-26. They were down 26-7 yep. with 16 minutes to go and one. Yeah, well. Like, the comeback well. was huge, right? Like, the well. crowd got involved, and those Waikol boys have got a lot of ticker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're into it. And they're doing really well. And we've actually got Cooper here, so we'll talk about Waikol rugby really soon. We'll go into a bit more detail about upcoming games. Exciting. Now, um, the month of June is the uh, What About uh, You campaign. It's the Try Zero campaign. Yep. So um, when you're at your rugby club this weekend, um, you will see that any time you buy a zero, there's a, you'll get an entry, little entry tag, and there's a box there at the bar. Enter, and you can win uh, a night for two at the Copthorne petrol vouchers and all sorts of other giveaways as well. So uh, yeah, support the campaign out there, team. and because they are supporting right up Bush Rugby as well. Okay, so um, what we'll do is we'll uh, cut um, to uh, the highlights reel for last weekend. Yep. All right, and um, and then we will get uh, Cooper in here and let's talk uh, uh, Waikol Rugby. Sounds good. All right, I'll grab him now. So after watching that uh, highlights reel there, Persico, um, I noticed that Marty wasn't in it. What's going on there? I, th- I thought they were... That game was from another planet out there at Ekerahuna. Um Look, they were into each other. I'll just let this um, next vid uh, do the talking, hey, Boda? Yeah, because I mean, I, I missed their highlights reel, mate. I was looking forward to watching Marty. <laughs> All right, we have uh, Cooper from Waikol First 15, and congratulations, you've just got 30th game I saw last weekend. Yeah, yeah that's right. How are you, mate? Yeah, good, good. Been a good week. Yeah, mate, good week. Good few months for you, boys. You're on fire. The temperature just went up in here a few <laughs> notches. Well, look, you're coming. To tell us about. Tell us about your past games first. Um, so I'll bring them up on the screen here. Some of the results for you, Cooper. Yeah. So we had our first um, our grading games went good. First game was against Mana. We won that. Second was Scots College. Just just short of a loss. That's all good. And then last game, tough, oh, big, big one against. Big one against 9-9. Yep. Now. It was good. And then uh, next up, um, what did you have? I had our first season game. And that was against. St. Pat Silverstream. Okay. And what was we had? You didn't go so good in that one. No, nah, we. They were a pretty good side, yeah. Yeah, they were good. The good side, probably. Top team this year. They'll be, top, yep. they'll be sort of top eight in New Zealand, won't they? Cooper Mail yeah, top ten. They were always in that in yep. that realm, you know? Yep. And um, so, what, so how many rounds in, how many games in are you? Five competition games? Yeah, five competition years so far. Yep. And, um, and how many more to go? Yeah, there's four yep. plus semis if we make Yep. It. Well, what do you mean? If you're up there, right? It's looking, so, it's looking pretty promising. So the competition table, where do you stand now? Because you've got... Standing you, third, just under third. Scots College and, and above Hibs. So this is all of the Wellington region? Yep. Wellington? Yep. That's pretty good going, eh? So, so um, Capity try and make this grade as well. So they have grading and they missed out. Yeah. So they didn't. Yeah. So they they're also in this comp, but they just didn't get in, right? Yeah. So it's it's competitive. Yeah. Yeah, it's brilliant. You it's know, good to, stuff. To, to be to be third is an outstanding effort so far. Like, yeah. and then they deserve it too. Yeah. And but, so so how many games to go then? Uh, so four plus semis and then big game against Rapid yep. at the end of the year. Yeah, so has that been? Is there a date set for that one yet? Because I know there's, I know there's, yeah. we're trying to schedule. We're, we're. Oh it yeah. Doesn't work for, for around Moose Company Cup, but there could be a possible opening, right, for the first Wild Upper Bush home game against East Coast. Oh. No one at Wild Bush knows this, obviously. That we're planning this thing, so yeah. um, you will find out shortly. But there's a possible, right, that you guys. But that means that you don't make. That's only if you don't make the sem, um, the final. Yeah, yeah. Then you're free. So, so you know, don't schedule it because you're gonna guys are gonna yeah. make the final of the competition. Yeah. So your next home game is when? Um, not this weekend. Coming next weekend against Scots College. Yep. Yeah, so cool. And so what? Um, what? What's the date? Uh, 
Uh, 24th of June. 24th of June. What Against time are you going? Uh, one o'clock. Hey, yeah. Cooper, yeah. Bring that mic a little bit closer to you. I, I rec recommend everyone out there to get along to that. You know, if you st if you support a senior team, you can still get along to it. Yep. You know, just watching that first 15 rugby, some of the best rugby you'll see. Yeah. yeah. You know, in Scots College, um, the perennially also are right up the top of Wellington yeah. and, and, you know, they've, yeah, been, yeah. they've been in the top Massive four. Massive game. So it's a huge game, you know, and, you, and it's just good rugby. Yeah. You know, these boys are young and they're fit and they're strong and they're well coached. Yep. Like, it's good. It's good yeah. stuff. And so we'll also get on the Wider Bush Facebook page um, a list of the upcoming games because they sort of come about and they're, they're there and gone. So it would be good to know in, in advance because occasionally you have a midweek game, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 So we'll put that on. Now, um, who's, um, who's, who's, who's lighting the place up for you guys? Oh, we've, a couple of boys in there done pretty good. We've got a Cyrus. He's a bit of a workhorse. He runs that ball pretty hard. Big Cyrus Wilson. Hey, you didn't take long to jump into Childsy's jacket, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Charles, he's gone. Yeah, it's the yeah. Cooper. It's, really? a, it's the Boda Cooper and Persigo yeah. show. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so who's lighting up? Who's the uh, who's who's um, who's a standout player for us to watch out for? Well, so we obviously got Cyrus and runs the ball pretty hard. Yep. Tackles hard. I don't know everything. Yep. Um, Who else? Lashan. Lashan. Yeah, he's doing. Lashan Paku. Well, yeah. yeah, no, he's 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 real good. He, he sees space really well, draws and passes. Yeah. Yeah. He's real good player. A little bit like NASA. Yeah. yeah so he's yeah, space. Yeah. 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 Good. yeah. All right, you can call him NASA too, maybe. Is Buzz. It, call him Buzz. You can't like Buzz Aldrin. You can't talk. You can't talk yourself up. But Cooper's pretty handy too, mate. Don't worry about that. Yeah, yeah I know it's hard to talk yourself. You got up, a big right. ticker, mate. He gets around the he gets around the track. Oh, yeah. Does a bit hey, now work. I saw that photo on Facebook of you. I'll bring it up on the screen for the um, Friday show. Um, Jesus, you're lucky you got your mum's looks, not your old man's, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, nah, no, don't say that. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the other shout out goes to Junior Molotov, who was in here a couple of weeks ago with Cooper. Yep. He put on a huge hit, didn't he? Yeah, where's Junior? Where's, <laughs> where's Junior tonight? He's about broke the first five's rib cage. Did, did he put in a massive hit? He scored a try, eh? Yeah. <laughs> we'll try and track the footage down for you. Yeah. I've got it. You got it? Yeah, I've got it. All right, we'll play it on the uh, Friday show. <laughs> okay, so um, next home game, two weeks away, two Saturdays away. Yep. Yep. All right, against Scots College, yep. and uh, no time locked in yet, or uh, is it? It'll be one o'clock kickoff, kick yep. and then um, so then go and watch some club rugby afterwards. But get down and support these guys because um, when's the last time you've been lead? Uh, when's the last time you're in this competition? Um, we were actually in it last, last year, year, but when when have you sort of you, you, been the successful? Yeah, the was, successful. Was when Sam Morrison, um, Chaz Matthews. Yeah, I think that was eight, ten years ago when they got to that. They, did they make the semis? Did they come fourth? No, nah, there was a team fifth. Was there? Yes, I think. It might have been 2017, 2018. Yeah. Yep. There something. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So it's been a while. So get down and support Waiko. And obviously we're all gene um, up for a, a Waiko rescue game towards the end Ooh, of the yeah. year. That'll be massive. Oh, yeah, bigger, than, bigger than State of Origin, I reckon. <laughs> I can't wait for that. Yeah, epic. Yeah. All right. So, hey, we can say epic now and outstanding. Oh. So right. There's no fines anymore. Epic. So, um... All right, so we just cut straight into these boys that are waiting and get them in here. Oh, the, so, the CTV. The stars of the show, right? Um, Coop, we'll get you to jump over there while they were in here. Uh, but we actually have, uh, at the, they were nominated for Junior Team of the Year at yep. the White Upper uh, uh, Times Age uh, Sports Awards. Um, we both went last Wednesday. Was it last yep, Wednesday? Last yep. Wednesday. And, um, and it was the, uh, it's the Carterton Cobras. Absolutely. I've been lucky enough to watch this team a fair bit, mate. You've been a part of this team as well, or yeah, your son uh, has? Not, not coached, but yep, yep. Uh, been along and watched and enjoyed it. Um, yep. they're, they're a well-coached side, you know, like they've, man, they're well-coached. They hit rucks real well, they counter ruck, you know, they play good fast yeah, ball. Yeah, yeah. Good, good side, mate. All right, let's get them in here. Cooper, you move around. I don't know if you guys can hear us out there um, in the waiting area, but if you can, Tim Wallen and Cobras, get on in here. We might have to go and get them. Okay, hang on. I'll get them. Come on. All right. Waiting, waiting on the CTV boys now. Here we go. All right, play the intro music. Here they are. Jump around, grab a, I was going to say grab a seat, but there isn't any spare ones. Jimmy and Emmett, and the boys are all here, eh, mate? Josh and Tommy. And Come around, Tim. Grab a seat from out there and bring it over this nice side, mate. Boys. You're right. Make yourselves at home. Tim and Willie. How you doing, Tim? So what's been nice. happening, rock stars, since, the, um, since last prize giving? Just, what, interviews... Just yeah. media, press conferences, yeah. flag school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you talked a little bit more last week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so tell us about your Cobra team. Why did you win this prize? Um, just working hard. Put that right up here, Cobb. So how did, how did you go in your local comp, Jimmy? Um, good. Did you 
Did you win all your games in that? Did you have some tough competition in that, mate? Yeah, we had some really tough competition. Yeah, who was your toughest? Probably Pioneer. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. They had some big boys. I remember watching one of those games, mate. Yeah. Yeah, so what, what do you reckon? What, what do you won you those sort of games? Big heart, you boys, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Just coming out firing and just... All right, all right over by the mic. Um, Here, you come and grab this one. Right up to and it. And then just smashing. Right, right up. You'll be this far away. And just smashing them to the You'll be that tire. far away. No, no, nice. Right. Lots of lots of low tackling, eh? Yeah. Right up and smashing Absolutely. them in the rocks. You reckon you guys are pretty well coached? Yeah. yeah. That's what I, that's what I look like to me. I think you give your coaches a bit of a shout out, mate. The way yeah. the way you guys counter ruck and hit those uh, rucks, pretty impressive. Yeah. <laughs> so then, so then you cruised up um, to a Taupo comp as well? Yeah, we went up there. Yeah. Almost touching. We only lost one game. And that was to an Auckland school. Yeah. Uh, Auckland, uh, was it? It was. Uh, one of the Marist teams right. up there. Yeah. yeah. Ardmore. Ardmore Marist. Ardmore Marist. And they've got a bit of a history at that comp. Like, you know, they're a bit of a powerhouse, right? Yep. Yeah. They smashed like every other team. They smashed every other team, and you got you got you guys probably could have won that game, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just a couple of little things as rugby goes. One more yep. minute, mate. Right. One more minute. We were right on the try line for about a minute, and we then the whistle went. So Did they have great defence? That's what that's what's yep. fun. It's fun about rugby, eh? You know, you come up against those really good teams. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. And then also, was there some sevens in there as well, boys? Yeah. Yeah. We had yeah. a Wellington sevens. Uh, the Christian Callan tournament. Oh yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, tell us about that. Uh, we came third in the comp, and yeah, I'll, we won I'll all our other Give games. <laughs> Go. Uh, we came third in the comp and won all our other games. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah, that one. Okay, so how many games did you play last season? And what was your for and against record? Woo! Um, so we won. I think we won everyone except, a except two. Three. Two or three. Two, two or three against Pioneer and then... How many, how many games was it? We. Oh, yeah. is, that, is that counting Talpo? No. You count games. everyone that you Every win. Every game. So sure. they, that's the ones that you like count. 20... About twenty on. Twenty. One in Taupo, two against Pioneer. I think we lost. And how long have we, how long have you guys been playing together? Like as you you oh, you. A while. <laughs> Since like Ripper. Since Ripper. Since Ripper. So Five that's years. been a while. Seven years we're taking. Uh, have you considered changing clubs, like looking into Marist or uh, hey, hey. any other? No? Uh, who wants to play for them, eh? Hey? Stinky Marist! Right? suggestion. <laughs> uh, <laughs> your, your old man Tim, he jumps ship all the time. Uh, mate. <laughs> CTB, boys! Yeah. So, Tim, great, come over here, mate. You jump on this mic for a second. Um, are you one of the coaches? Yeah, yep, yep. yep. One, of the, um, one of the crew. We've, we've been lucky, Willie and I have taken. Right up to the mic, Tim. I've taken uh, these boys right through from from Ripper. We've had a core cool group. We're really lucky. Core cool group of kids that uh, we've gone from four years old. So we're up to year what are we? Year seven or year eight now? So how old are you boys? I'm eleven to twelve. Eleven to twelve. Yeah. Year seven, eh? Yeah. Year seven. Yep. So we're, we're super lucky, and, and when we can take that that core cool group of kids through. Um, and um, just the kids have the continuity year to year, and um, it, it's it's awesome. And they know our expectations, they know our coaching style, and they respond to it really well. Cool, I know your coaching style too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit of history there. Tim um, coached the Chanel College first fifteen in my last year there, and oh. we um, we won the um, seconds comp, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Did you? Yeah, yeah, we took it out, nice. and then we won the sevens as well. Yep. Yeah, yep. no, there was a good team. We went away to a few away trips. And yeah, yeah, we went really well. We beat St. Peter's that year too. Yep. Well, it was a massive game. We hadn't beaten them for 30 years. And they turned up to Chanel College thinking that they were going to um, do us by 80 points, as they normally did. And 15-5, uh, we got up. Yeah. Be, be nice. We didn't go to school for another week. <laughs> <laughs> we were at Tim's place. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. So who's the top try scorer out of you four? Yeah. Emmett, oh, that was pretty. Yep. Yeah. What position do you play, Emmett? Jump on a mic, right up to your mouth. Uh, I play second five. Second five, and why'd you score so many tries? Just getting the ball off Jimmy. Just... Who's Jimmy? First five. So uh, first five, eh? Yep. And we got the halfback over there. And the half. Oh, good, good little combo. And what are you? What are? You... 
I'm a flanker. Yeah, all, all people with mullet are flankers. <laughs> Loves it. In there. In the dark, in the, in the dark places. Love it. I like the mullet, brother. I like the mullet. Yeah. <laughs> All right, boys. Anything else? This is your time to shine. Tell us about this Cobra side. Now, under 13s, but you're having a, not, having a bit of a tough year this year, right? Yeah. And that's because... It's the learning year, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You're going yeah. up. Yeah. We're smaller. Well, we yeah. just came from 11, so then there's other people that have been in this grade before us are oh. older. Start, start that again. Right up onto this. Right we we uh, came from a younger team. We came from 11s, our whole team, and most other other teams have been in this grade most of the time, and they're older than us, yep. bigger than us, and it's just harder to tackle them. Yeah, I think. Yeah, we're, we're quite um, unfortunately in the Wadarapa where because we're a little bit limited with um, num player numbers, mm. um, the spans. I mean, in theory, we should go to under 12s. Yep. But we just don't have the player depth to go to have an under-12s grade. Yep. So we've got um, kids who are 11 years old playing against guys that are, that are allowed to be 13 on the 1st of January, I think it is. Yep. I mean, we've got, I think, an average weight. I worked out our average weight of our team, and we're still in the 30 kilo bracket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, high 30s. And, um, you know, you look at you look like Marston Red Star, Pioneer, um, and... Um, yeah, Maris, they're, they're all in the sort of 50 kilo bracket and some of those, there's some big 100 kilo boys in there and they just steamroll. Um, yeah. So like exactly what uh, Tony was saying, this is our learning year. Yeah. Um, and one of the things we've, talk, we've always worked on with the boys, um, it's all about being um, humble in victory and gracious in defeat. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And, you know, it goes along with our club mantra, you know, the CTV, what's CTV? Commitment, trust, brotherhood. Epic, right. epic. It's about stick, sticking with your bros all the time. Um, and we're really proud of these boys and what they've achieved. They, they, um, they've got a lot of ticker for a little side. So it's really good. Yeah, it's really cool, guys. Hey, thanks for coming in. Um, I'll, if, uh, what are you guys going to do? Hang about for a bit? We've got, probably got 15 minutes to go, but I think I've got a few Macca's vouchers in my pocket, so... So what about... Go what and play about, some table what tennis. What's if, coming up, fellas? Have you got anything coming yeah, up? Yeah, what is uh, happening? No, nah, just... Saturday. Saturday? Red You're playing Red Star, that'll be a tough yeah. game. Where's that? Red Star. Red Star grounds. Yep, cool. Excited about it? Yeah. Uh, not too yeah. many not too many injuries? No, no injuries. Oh, oh, Tommy. Injury. Cool. <laughs> Punch the floor. Oh, no. Punch the floor. Punch the floor? Yep. Yeah, cool. Hey, have you have you managed to get any wins this year? Have you? Yep, we've yeah. got one against. Well there you go. What are you whinging about? You were against boys? Yeah. That's what it's all about. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. And your and your prem size looking pretty good. It's a massive season for Carterton too. Yeah. Do you go and watch the prems? Yeah. You do. What about what about ball boy? Are you ball boy? Yep. Yep, ball boys. All right. You got a coke and a bag of chippies for that. Yeah, three coke and chips. Nice. So so it hasn't changed. No. So boys, Warrapa Bush are looking for ball boys to do the grand final for Moose. Oh, sorry, not the grand final because their own clubs bring their own. Uh, but all Warrapa Bush home games, and um, there's it's a contract where you're going to get fifty bucks a game. So we we might hold some trials heading into um, before the Bush games for ball boys, and see uh, who's the best ball boy in the Warrapa and, and select a team. Oh, look, they're keen. They're all they're into it, mate. Look out. They'll be right up the front. All right, cool. You can, you can have those trials after the Simmons. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a Stafford, this one. Oh, we, we actually walked, Stafford. We walked the course of the Stafford today because we're planning for Moose Company Cup Finals Day. Um, there's a proposed idea for me and Childsy to come in with um, on um, parachutes to start the oh. live stream off. What do you reckon? Oh, nice. <laughs> look out. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're saying. Hey, any news is good news. <laughs> Grand final delayed. <laughs> keep, up hey. the, keep, keep up the awesome work, boys. And uh, you obviously respond to your coaches, Willie and Tim, and, and, and Connor's in there as well. So keep, keep all that up, eh? Because it's, it's pretty cool to watch and, and keep that going. Love that stuff. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Now, do you, do you, you have to say something. You can't just stand there the whole time. No, what? <laughs> You're all good. Yeah, jump around there. This one? Yep, right up to your mouth. So Willie, Willie, Willie's also been part of it since. Uh, okay, Willie, what's your, what's your, what's your um, just jump, just squat, yeah, go down to it. He's a, he's a Carterton stalwart, Willie. He's been, he's been, been played Move for Carterton and. Move around to there. And lived in Carterton. 
So we've got Willie here. Willie, are you a coach at its side as well? Manager, bull, bull yeah, boy? Yeah, much like um, Timbo. I've been doing it since day dot. So, yeah, seen these boys all the way through. Um, yeah, let's say I couldn't be proud of the boys. You know, we do punch above our weight, and it's all cliche, but... Um, and the girls? And the girls. Hey, the girls are awesome, mate. They're absolutely stunning, eh? Um, I don't know. Just with these boys, they, they're there to work hard. They, they learn, they listen, yep. and then they do. And you couldn't ask anything more from them. And that's why I think we've been so successful. We've asked a lot of the boys, they work hard, and I think that's why we've been successful. So. Yep. Absolutely, cool. but cool, they, awesome they, they, they trust you guys though, right? You guys come on at half time, and like quite often you see a half time talk and then nothing happens. These guys come on at half time and the pattern changes and they go to work. Yep. It's pretty cool, right? That means yep. they're responding, you know? That means it's a, that means it's a, it's a group, it's a that team. The final last year was just. That was cool. I actually had to miss what, that. So, 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 me, mate. She, so she said it was outstanding. So, oh. boys, jump around on the other side of Willie there. Yep. So, tell us tell us a little bit about, keep going right around. And, um, Boda, um, ask the guys, because then the camera changes to you, ask the guys about the final last year and how it went. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, uh, the final last year, boys, who, who did you play in the final last year and how did it go? We played Pioneer in the finals. And uh, were you ahead the whole game? Or how did the game roll, mate? No, no, half time we were down about 17 points. Woo! Ooh, so 17, 17 points down and a big comeback. Yep. How, how long are the games that you play? With uh, 30 minute halves, I think it was. Oh, yeah, okay. So, so we. And then after half time, we just came back firing and ended up smashing them. Sweet. What was the final score? Uh, no 35 17. Oh, oh. Not turning the whole result around. Did the Pioneer not score in the second half? No. no. <laughs> oh, boom. Absolutely shut them down. Yeah, nice. Nice. Was that played on the park? Yep. yep. Played on the turf. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, yeah. that was fun. It was, a, it was a great match. The fact that um, through the season, Pioneer had beaten us twice on our home ground. We'd beaten Pioneer twice on their home ground. So I came down to the neutral on them at, at the turf. And Pioneer, hey, they're up, big team, nice, they played super good rugby. And we just broke them down at the end of the day, it took 50 minutes. Yeah, no, epic, good stuff. The boys got stuck in and got the job done, and, but no, huge up to Pioneer, great team. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, like I say, they had a huge battle last year, eh, two, two versus uh, two each. Yeah, uh, yeah, good final. stuff, cool. Hey boys, thanks for coming on, and um, go and play some table tennis, we'll see you soon. Thank you. Awesome, Thank you. cheers boys. You can take off if you want. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, just take Chodzi's jacket with you. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it will be. Hey, cheers, Willie. All the best. Thanks, Willie. All right. Um, hey, see ya, uh, Cooper. Cheers, and um, well, we'll come and watch the game. Good luck on Saturday, mate. Yep. No, they got this Saturday off. Oh, the Saturday off? Yeah, the, the game's next Saturday. All right, let's talk about some rugby, Boda. Oh, into it. Well, we have been talking about rugby, but let's talk about um, some local uh, prems and senior rugby. Absolutely, what we've got coming up this week. Okay, um, you went to the Pioneer um, I did. I did. Pioneer game. Um, what yep. were your thoughts? Pioneer won it at the death. Pioneer won it about eight minutes and extra time. We've three really close games this week. Yep. So you got Pioneer and also Maris Carterton. Did uh, you wouldn't have seen anything? No, no, you? no. I haven't. I was okay. tw twenty to fifteen. Well, um, that was. Um, I'll get you some footage, but the that was. Carden played a really tight game. Yep. Um, they didn't want to throw it around. That ground at Maris is really muddy. Um, it was exactly what we were all expecting. You know, no one wanted to give anyone anything. And um, Maris had a couple of, um, you know, a, a couple of runs wide, but it was a really tight game. Um, back and forth, back and forth. And Carden and just ended up. So that, in front at the end, I mean, Maris, we were on attack, had a shot to score and win it. Did they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was close. It was really close. So that that um, muggy field, who did that help, in your opinion? Carterton. I mean, Mar Maris, uh, Maris and look, uh, should have played them on the turf. Um, Mar Maris, when you, watch them, when you watch the replays of the game on the turf, Maris, uh, you know, quick, they, tr they get the ball to Hayden Cooper and, and these sort of boys. Um, it suits Carterton down to a tee. Yep. Because then you've got the big boys, uh, you're dealing with the big boys. Carter and Scrum was dominant. Yep. Um, it started off even, but they slowly wore away at them. And I think Carter and Ford slowly wore away at Maris. But uh, Maris' defence on the line was, uh, it was really good D. Um, you could tell that there was a lot of passion, a lot of effort going into preventing. So Mar from Maris scoring. won the uh, at Lane Penn final day. Maris beat Carterton yep. in the third, fourth playoff. That's right. 
Yes, yeah, so that's right. And that was on the turf. So now yeah. it's one each. Now it's one each. Um, going into they're, they're obviously oh, they're going to meet each other at some stage. Some well, whether it's uh, semis or finals. Now let's talk about because obviously, um, so Pioneer have beaten Greytown, yep. but Greytown is still sitting in fourth spot. Yeah, yeah. By two points. Um, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Coasties. Have got a t I was looking at the table. Oh, have got a chance. Oh, the mighty right. coasty! And imagine if they beat a Martinborough, they'd actually be in fourth spot right now. Oh, and and like the, we as we said on the show two weeks ago, it came down to one kick. Yeah, that kick. Yeah, and, the then, kick. and then a try that was questionable that Martinborough scored. Yeah. Um. So, Co Coasties would be fourth. Oh. And and red eye it just comes out of nowhere. Uh, I told, eh? We told you, Charles and I told oh, you. Did tell me. You told did you, tell me, and I was. And, and thinking, you got to remember, oh. they've, they've had almost no players all year. They've had everything go against them. Everything. They've, they've, they've been using like seven or eight thirds a week. Yeah. You know, like yeah. they've um, just got big ticker that club. You know, let like me bring up the um, uh, table here for just for us to go through because um, it's pretty interesting over the next few weeks. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's it's coming down to it. I mean, this week, this week, the game for me is going to be Greytown Carterton. Greytown Carterton. See, the game for me is Maris Pioneer. Yeah. Um, but then Greytown Carterton. Uh, uh, It'll actually be a good game. It a lot of it's, it depends whether Andre Taylor's injured or not. He got a yeah, so so. He got a caught cool, cool okay. I watched on the replay. I watched that game, and I thought the difference was Andre Taylor. If 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 oh. Greytown had Andre Taylor on for the whole game, I think they would have won they it. Would have won. Um, if, and that's no disrespect to Cully because he did a good job. No, no, great job. But but right. on, on, having Andre there frees Cully up. It does. For, it frees for Cully. other it's, things. That's exactly what and it is. The other things that Cully's good at. And, exactly. And uh, uh, like um, there was one punt that that almost went forty. Uh, was it forty? 22 now yep. is it 50 22, 50, 22. he kicked it from back in his 40 and that just put pioneer under all sorts of pressure and i thought his placement was good he almost scored off a chip chase try and this was only the 20 minutes he was i know on. and i've got to remember that cyrus pulled out before the game yeah and he would have been at 12. And so you know you've you've got yeah, great great out great out get their full team on the field yeah they will challenge any team in this competition yeah for yep. sure so um Looking at the table, so there is a shot for East Coast yep. um, to get up. There is. Um, yep. And then also Greytown, who are holding that fourth spot. Yep. And Pioneer, who have got Maris this weekend. And that's at Gene Street. It's at Gene Street. So Beautiful. Um, who else is up? Who have Coast got? Uh, they got Ikirahuna. That's out at Fariyama. Okay, so, so... So Coasties are on a bit of an up, right? Like, so I, I would anticipate that Coasties might take that one out. Okay, so East Coast... Going in, here we go, um, Boda. So this is yep. the East Coast have got... Um, so we've got Pioneer oh, Maris this Pioneer, week. Sorry. This so is Pioneer's draw. This is Pioneer's last three games heading in. So and then they've, Pioneer, so they've got, got two Maris, home games. Ikirahuna and then Coast. So Pioneer Coast at the end. Of the, and that's is, out at Fariyama. That's no Cape Walk. Yeah, yeah. So It's going to be a battle. Geez, that's tight. And then you look at Greyhound's run home. Yep, so... Gladstone, I'm not sure where Gladstone are with injuries. So Greytown Carterton will be that won't be a fifty point game, this one. Okay, but the problem that Greytown have is to get through well, they need to beat Gladstone. They they need to beat Gladstone, they but they that, have to beat either Carterton or Martin. They have to win one of those games. Yeah. Which, which is a massive ask, but Greytown obviously building. Martinborough's run home. Martinborough Gladdy. Martinborough will win that. Yep. And then Carterton Martinborough. Martin well, Martinborough. That was my favourite game of the first round. Yeah, because those two, I went down there, and that was what I felt very yep. comfortable being on my gumboots on the sideline because yeah, those yeah. two teams just slaughtered each other. Yep, and then and then Martin Barrow, <laughs> Greytown to finish. So, <laughs> it's um, uh, yeah, we're throwing throwing Greytown and East Coast from nowhere all of a sudden. I and know. Here, um, so Pioneer Marist. That's interesting. Now Marist have um, obviously Coast as well, and then yep. Nikitahuna. So, it's not easy for them either. That's great. It's 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 a really really good lead in. Yep, and Coast. I mean. Yeah, I mean, it's just all... Coast have got a couple of home games I see there out of yeah. Fariyama, and they are, they are a different team out of Fariyama, you know? They always have been. Yeah. So, I mean, that's really exciting. And the crowd was, um, was great out there. There was um, hot dogs and... Um, there was hot dogs and uh, bouncy castles for Old Timers Day oh. and a really big turnout for that um, game against Gladdy, and, and, they, and both teams played really well. Yeah, and then we've got the Ryan Cup. Okay, the Ryan Cup. Senior Reserve, so uh, Greydown is um, at home to Pioneer. Uh, Carterton is at home to Marist. Yep. And then we've got Marty at home to Gladdy. And the last game will be the Mighty Toharangi. And they'll be at home to the Coasties. Okay, uh, breaking news as well. Tu Tuarangi Rugby have confirmed um, that there is a 100%, 100% increase in um, players um, wearing the synthetic jersey. Oh, it's gone to the synthetic. They've won oh, the yeah, battle. Yeah, yeah. So, well, no, but 100% increase. There's only two players in yeah. total. But um, it's still a massive increase. <laughs> so, um, again, in disarray, Tuarangi.
Uh, and now, have we got an update on Mr. Ken Aburn? He must be get four ninety nine this week. Four ninety nine this week. Yeah. So next week's going to be five hundred. This no, no, you're not tomorrow, but next weekend's five hundred. <laughs> So we might have to get down there with a camera and um yep. and film some of that, yeah? Yeah, no, we're going to have yeah. to get some footage. Ken Avon. <laughs> Massive feat. Now, um, let's bring up games for today. Uh, we do have the Nun Shield. Yeah, the Nun um, Shield. Greytown uh, Carleton. You, you were, now, I was thinking, there hasn't been an upset this year. No, there hasn't. There hasn't. Are been. we due? Look, literally, it's going to depend if Andre and Cyrus are playing for me. Seriously, because if those two play, Greytown can absolutely pull off the upset there 12 and under. Yep. You think so? If those two are playing, yep. I'll put a caveat in there. If they're not playing, Carterton will get them. It's just the way that Lewis Bush changed that forward pack by coming into tight head prop, that will change the whole dynamic of the scrums and the, and the rucks. Yep. Um, and then you have both the Isaac boys and the loose forwards. It's a different side. It's a different it side. Is, it is. It totally it's a is. Um, Great Town have sort of come from a, from a sub-average side to now... now um, and Car it is. Carterton will know that, though. Yep. And Carterton, uh, sorry, the next game, um, East Coast versus Ekadahuna out at... Um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm in Coast. Out at Coast. Coast might win that 13+. plus. Eki seemed to be finding it a bit tough, right? So, um, Martinborough put a huge score on them last week, um, and then they've got to travel away yeah. again. Yeah, and it wasn't pretty out there. Uh, Martinborough, you know, but they came away with a win, but, but it wasn't. Yeah, the prettiest of rugby, um, and then Pioneer versus Marist at Jean Street. That's going to be a massive game. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think that I think Marist Marist will probably get on get over the top of Pioneer. Yep. Um, though it's uh, Pioneers. They, they what I liked about Pioneer is they're able actually to bring on some pretty good reserves yep. that had some motor. Yeah. You know, like they didn't come on and just fold in. Now I noticed I like um, uh, Pioneer. I don't know if it was game plan or what happened, but um, Calkin wasn't. Um, running it back, he, there was a, he didn't run it back as much as what he. What yeah, we but normally I see. think that's because Greydown for some reason just kept kicking to Nikora. Yeah. On the left wing. Yeah. Like, okay. Honestly, Greydown must have kicked to him nine times in the second half. Yep. I don't know why they kept keep kicking over to that guy because he beat the first tackle every time. Yeah, yeah. So it didn't, yeah. <laughs> didn't make a lot of yeah. sense to me, but whatever, yeah. right? Like, yeah. they just kept going to well, his wing. You don't really have a choice. You've either got Kalkin or Ewe. <laughs> You're just <laughs> trying to avoid yeah, them. Yeah, no, nah, that's a fair, it's a fair call. Well, I, just, I just noticed that um, Kalkin wasn't running as much. He, he yeah. kicked returned. Um, his his, his play... It was, I mean, he's obviously played a lot of 10, and he was very smart. Yep. So uh, Andre obviously started the game and put them in the, in the corners, put yep. Pioneer in the corners, while Reese in the second half just returned favour. Yep. And that was really smart from Pioneer. They just played the yep. game down in Greydown's territory and said, okay, let's yeah, just good. stay down here and see how you go, Greydown. Yep. So it was good. Yeah, yeah, cool. Um, and uh, Martin Barrow versus uh, Gladstone. Yeah, Martinborough hosting Gladstone. So um, I believe it's old-timers day at Marty as well. So I'll be picking Martinborough by about 25 uh, yeah, yeah, um, probably a bit more for me. Ooh, um, ooh. Now, um, obviously with NASA in form out there for yeah, Marty yeah, as well. They, they have got NASA. Yep, and uh, we've also got a list of the top points scorers and try scorers for this year as well. Oh, I like that. But what are we doing for pick the score? Pick the score. Well, Greytown got it last week in the Greytown game. Yep. You'd go Maris Pioneer, wouldn't you? Maris Pioneer. Okay, so pick the score now. Pick the score has jackpotted to $1,400. So we're in some big, big money right here. And um, you know the rules. Uh, comments below. Uh, you must like and share the post um, before kickoff tomorrow at 2.35. So Maris Pioneer is at Gene Street, and Gene Street's in reasonable condition. Yeah. That just might help you pick your score. There it's you go. It's in reasonable condition. Yep. I was there watching watch the Greydown game last week. Yeah, it's quite interesting how, how fields are and um, Maris is in terrible condition versus some so, of the others. So that, that's going to make it pick the score different, right? That's right. So um, just hold two seconds and um, let me bring up the slide with... I did, I did see, I was lucky enough to see in the um, Ryan Cup reserves, um, Brownie on the wing for Greydown has scored 13 tries. Yeah, oh. yeah. Um, Charlie, <laughs> Charlie Brown's... Charlie really Brown. Try scorers with Charlie teams. Brown. Yeah, and then he came on for Greydown and cramped up like three times. He was <laughs> because he, I think he might have played the whole game for the Bs, and then came on for the As, and he was cramping up after about ten minutes. It was a hard case, but he's uh, he's obviously doing a lot of he's doing a lot of damage there in the in the Ryan Cup and Greydown and the Ryan Cup have sneaked up to third. So that that competition. Well, that that before the break they they played um, Tuarangi and only lost twenty six points to yeah. fourteen or something, which which I thought was um was a really good performance considering yeah. Tuarangi have had taken everyone to the cleaners. Yeah, yeah. And, and stars the week before, so um they've really really come back, haven't they? Yeah, no, they have. They've come back too, but I mean that that is traditional grey down. You know, they they do like to stay in the fight. It's part of their DNA. Um, 
But uh, so yeah, the 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 point scores are really interesting. I see Ben Brooking. Um, I he's, did, he's leading. Um, he's leading. Oh, you obviously Ben, ben Browning. You call ben, him Ben Browning. He's leading. Um, he's leading on points. Obviously, his kicking has been superb this season. Uh, and then you got Eni Akatia uh, leading tries I uh, on yeah. thirteen. Uh, he's on nine. Um, sorry, nine. And he is on nine. And he is on nine. And, and uh, Nikut is seven. Nikut is seven. I saw him in there. Now, now uh, Nikut is on seven, but he's um, got five in one game. Five in one game, and then one last weekend, and one in the Lane Pen Cup final. Yeah. So. Like I can name all of all of his seven. It's crazy. So I was going through it today. I'm so sure. I'm sure he'd have more than that. But um, yeah. So that the other tries that he scored. Isn't that awesome that Innie's got nine playing open side flanker? Yeah. It's. Yeah. I mean, he, like like we said on the. He show, doesn't really play like an open side, does he? No, though? but that's he's, the it's the beauty of it. Like we yeah. said on the show two weeks ago, he's really sussed out about Tupou's running lines. Yeah. And he gets on his shoulder, waits for him to bust tackles. It's really smart, right? Like that's just Innie being a smart guy. Yeah, he just hovers around that ruck area, doesn't he? And just yes. and, and waits for little openings and and lazy. <laughs> Lazy forwards and just catches in on it. And Absolutely. Um, if you snooze around there, he's he's away. And the, Maris, the, 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 um, some of the footage I'll show, Maris were all over him on um, on the weekend. They? Yeah, it was good to see. They would have yeah, loved it. Yeah, and and the ter and Terminator Tupo, they were, they were into him Terminator as well. Terminator Tupo. Um, but you know they, they knew any of it was a danger, and yeah. and um, but that obviously frees up other spaces, doesn't it? What it also place. does is our, our mate Tummy Lau, Tummy Lau, he yeah. uh, he plays halfback for Carterton for now, Tummy Lau, and. Uh, if he gets caught in a ruck, it's a beautiful having any of there because he just scoops in and you know he's got a great pass. He's played played seventy games for Bush on the on the halfback. Yep, and another yep. fifteen on the wing. If any, will he bring up a hundred this year for Bush? If he I makes, think he already has. If he makes. Has he already brought up a hundred? I'm Bush? pretty sure there's a poster in the in the changing rooms with a hundred. Yeah, I'd have to have a look. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to confirm that. But he's played a lot of games. Yep. Um, also, there's uh, a lot on the sixes, uh, six tries. Um, uh, Nathan Hunt, um, Nasser Colton, and uh, a few others as well are right behind um, in here and that as well. Yep. So, all right, Boda. So, no Childsy. It's kind of refreshing without Childsy, isn't it? Different. It's different. It's different. Yeah, I know. It's weird not having Childsy here. I know, it is. <laughs> it is. Um, anything more from you? Have you missed anything today? Uh, no, haven't, haven't missed anything today. Um, I'll definitely be getting along. Um, oh yeah, we, so where are you heading to this afternoon? I'm going to watch or tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm going to go and watch Carterton Marist tomorrow. Carterton Marist. I'm filming the um, Marty Gladstone game. Oh yep. And doing some stuff for Old Timers Day. So if you're out there, say hello to the camera. And, and won't bug sure you too much. Get out there and have a shandy. Yep, yep. And uh, try July. Uh, sorry, the try zero campaign. Remember that, guys. Um, grab yourself a zero. Zero. And um, the Peroni zeros are really good at the moment. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. Try one of those. But um, the, 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 like I said, um, we said on the show, mark down the 24th, 1 o'clock at Waikol. Yep. Get along, watch Waikol Scots College. Yep. And we'll, 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 we'll bring flight. it up on the show again we next week. Top flight, first 15 rugby team. Yep. Cool. Hey, um, thanks for tuning in, and um, we'll see you uh, around the traps on Saturday and um, next week as well. Sounds good. Cheers.